Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to flat iron your hair without losing volume. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can hit the bell um, to get a notification anytime I post a new video. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comment section. And if you have any suggestions for what you would like me to do more videos about, uh, let me know that in the comments as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I don't typically straighten my hair a lot. Um, now that I've cut it a little shorter, I've started to straighten it a little more. I also got a new straightener, which I'm really excited about. It is the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Smooth. I'm a big fan of this uh, flat iron. I actually had the same one for about 10 years since I was like a junior in high school. So I just upgraded this one recently. I have washed my hair, blow dried it using my uh, round brush. If you have any questions about how to blow dry your hair, uh, you can look at my last video that I posted on blow drying your hair for maximum volume. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna section my hair. And I'm just gonna run the brush through it. And my hair dried pretty straight because I blew it out with the other roll brush. But if I just were to leave it that way, it typically would get wavy, wavy and frizzy during the day. So I usually go ahead and run the straightener through it. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. Whenever you run the straightener through your hair, you're gonna turn your wrist in like a C motion. And then just let it cool before you let it down. All right, and then if you, you're gonna pull it upwards and out just to kind of help keep the volume. that then actually this very bottom layer I actually like for it to be a little bit more straight so I've been curling my hair for probably the past eight years um, I feel like I get more days out of it then I do straight, and I'm trying to start getting back into wearing it straighter again. It's a little faster, and it's a different look. You could always use a heat protectant spray. I typically don't use one, um, but it's always good to put something on your hair to protect it um, whenever you put heat on it. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right, so for this section, you're gonna go higher up, like I said, like this. All right, see that? All right, and then I just like for these front pieces to be a little bit more straight. All right, and so to get that lift, you want to go as high, as close to the root as you can. Whew, that was hot. You can do smaller or thicker sections, just depending on how um, fine or coarse your hair is. The more coarse your hair is, the smaller sections you probably need to do. Right, so for this last section, I'm actually going to part my hair on the opposite side. <laughs> this is a good look. I should change my part, right? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it in the opposite direction just so that I'll have a little bit more lift whenever I flip it back over.
Also, I didn't mention this earlier, but um, my flat iron is set on 360. Um, that's about the normal that I usually do. If you have more coarse hair, you could turn it up a little higher. If you have really thin, um, fragile hair, you could turn it down lower. That hair is hot. Be careful. My hands burn a little bit. <laughs> okay. And I did pretty um, large sections on the top. I probably could have done smaller ones. Alright, so I'm just going to flip it back over. Okay, I'm just going to curl these ends under a little bit that are flipping out. Okay, so last but not least, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some dry shampoo in my hair. I did wash it uh, and straighten it before I go to bed tonight, so I don't want it to be too um, greasy in the morning. So. All right, so I'm just going to finish it off with some hairspray. This is the Big Sexy Hairspray in Play. Uh, it's a volumizing hairspray. All right. All righty, there you go. Thanks for watching.